Transpower builds electric drive systems for large vehicles, mainly electric trucks, class eight, eight trucks primarily, but we're also starting to work with class six and seven trucks, yard tractors, which are also known as yard hustlers or uh, shunts, and uh, school buses are our main products now. Also, we have uh, a forklift project that we're working on to convert three forklifts to electric drive for cargo handling. So those are the main products. We get inquiries for mining vehicles, construction vehicles, many other types of vehicles, all of which are uh, feasible to convert, but right now the ones I listed are the ones we're focusing on. We are what you would call an aftermarket converter of vehicles, vehicles that the manufacturer still produces diesel. We can take out the diesel engines, we can put in electric motors, make them run. But the conventional diesel truck manufacturers and bus manufacturers are all getting more and more interested in electric technologies every day and they are starting to uh, look to companies like us to help guide them help provide them with the technology and components so in the long term we don't expect our primary business to be converting aftermarket vehicles in the long term we expect to be supplying motors and controllers and related batteries and related equipment directly to the big truck makers OEMs. and uh, OEMs original equipment manufacturers and let them uh, then install them on their own assembly lines. And we've already started that process with a couple of OEMs. We believe there also is an improving business case for these vehicles. Uh, because they eliminate fuel use, you don't have to buy fuel for them. And electric vehicles are tend to be more energy efficient than uh, internal combustion engine vehicles. So um, if you can use electric power and you can keep your electric utility rate down or use your own solar energy, then it generally costs less per mile, maybe a half to a third as much per mile to operate an electric truck. They also tend to be more reliable in the long term. So the cost of ownership is lower for an electric vehicle. If you look at the entire life of the vehicle, in most cases, the cost of ownership is lower. And if fuel prices resume their upward climb someday, um, which we think eventually will happen, then the business case for electric vehicles will just get better and better and better. Any vehicle that's used intermittently, that is uh, driven on a local duty cycle and returns to the same location frequently is a good candidate for electrification because you can uh, plug it back in when it's not being used. School buses are great because they only operate for a couple of hours in the morning, then they have a few hours of downtime around the middle of the day where they can be plugged in and re recharge the batteries, and then they only operate for a couple hours in the evening and then they can be plugged back in overnight. So that's a good duty cycle for um, an electric vehicle. You, the more often you can charge it, the smaller your battery pack can be, the less expensive the vehicle is. Since we're uh, a significant part of the green economy, especially here in San Diego, the clean tech you know, uh, uh, community here is pretty vibrant and we're proud to be part of that.